Hi everyone. Today we're going to be installing Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Express. So if we go to this website, you will see that it gives you provides a link in order to download the application. And we have a couple of uh, things that we can click on, like details. And the details will actually tell us all the version numbers that are available uh, to us. You'll also see that we can also, um, once we double click that, uh, click the system requirements and it will show you exactly what we need for our system requirements. Then we have installation instructions. It'll give you a brief overview of how to install. And we have additional information like the um, express form that you can get uh, information from and where you can uh, write to if you see any trouble with it. We'll select our language English and then we hit download. What this will do is download a file and that file um, in our case is going to be 1.1 gig and it comes up when we double click it and it will extract the files. We specify a location and it starts extracting these files. Now depending on your computer speed this may take quite a while or just a little bit. Now once it's extracted, it will then start our installation procedure. So all of the information that you see is it can be um, read also online and you'll see all that information there. All the links that we're going to talk about are actually on our website at accautomation.ca. So we're just about uh, there for our extracted files. And this is actually a free, um, SQL Server is actually free from Microsoft. So there we go. And our SQL Server installation center now appears. We can go into planning where we can see a bunch of different uh, links that will take us to additional information about upgrading, about documents, uh, you name it. Then we have our installation directory, then we have our maintenance, and on our maintenance um, we have repair, different additions. We have, then have tools, then we have resources, again books online, everything you need to know about SQL Surfer. Then we have under options, it just tells us that we're running on a 64-bit machine. And we're going to be installing this on a, a Windows 7 64-bit. So we'll just hit uh, the new SQL Server install and standalone uh, installation or add features to an existing installation. And what will happen is the first thing that will happen is the license agreement comes up. We accept uh, the terms and hit next. Then we have our install setup files. You see that it's going right now. And then we'll get our install rules. It basically tells us the features that we're going to be um, installing here. So we're going to start leave this as default, but we on this machine what we're going to do is install it to a different directory, and I'm going to uh, use the E directory that I have. Then we hit next, and the installation continues. Right now it tells us our named instance. This is what. Uh, the instant is now we already have this installed on our on our computer as SQL Express so we're going to give it another name SQL or sorry ACE we'll say ACC SQL and that'll be our instant name that we're going to be using for this machine once we have that we'll just hit next Now, the next thing we come up with is our server configuration. This is where we actually have our passwords, etc. So just hit next. Then we have our database configuration. What we want to do is select mixed modes so that we can um, authorize access to this data database remotely. So we'll put uh, um, for our SA account, we'll put enter a password and confirm it and then hit next. 
then we'll install and continue. So now our installation is actually running. And now it's installing all the files. So like I said before, depending on your speed of your computer, this may take a while to do it. And so I'm going to cut the video a little bit during this process so that you can see um, you don't have to wait for all this. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft SQL Server 2014, it's a free edition of SQL Server. And it's ideal for learning and developing your desktop, web, and small server applications. Now your database can be up to 10 gigabytes in size. Um, and the Express 2014 release includes the full version of your SQL Server 2014 Management Studio. This is your method to read and write and maintain our databases. So it's basically the tools that we need in order for to um, look at SQL Server. And really we'll be installing the SQL Server database so we can connect it for data acquisition um, from our PLC application. So we're going to be logging information in the future and we'll need this software in order to do so. So up on our screen here what you'll see is we're still copying files in and out and it'll t actually take a little bit. Yeah, it'll probably take at least uh, 10 minutes or so in order to install all the files that we have. This is quite an extensive program. Okay, we're getting to the end of our um, install, install of the SQL uh, Server Express 2014. And you know, if you like this video and like to see more of them, there's a three ways you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find the information on YouTube just like you did. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, you'll get notification every time we publish new content to the site. You will also get a couple of free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third way to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Now, as I mentioned before, all of the links that you see here um, are on our website, and we also have the full um, install guide with pictures step by step as you go along. And we probably just have a couple more minutes to, to wait here for the install.
And we're now at the end of their install. It's cleaning up a few more things. And then we get a message at the end saying that we have to restart the computer. Also, it will show us a screen that will show us all of the things that were successfully installed. So we're good there. And so that's it. That's the install. So you're very straightforward, easy to implement. All right. That's it for now. I want to thank you for watching. And remember, give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information.